What is up, everybody? Ashley the Cat, coach of the Houston Harden, coming at you with our Week 5 matchup of the UBLN Season 1. Uh, this week we're playing Chin Chow and the New York Venusaur. This is a divisional match. It's the first time we've played this year. I decided to bring a sub Zygarde because I was scared of his ditto. So it's sub Dragon Dance, 1000 Arrows, E-Speed, I'm fairly certain. I have Arcanine. I'm trying to, uh, a lot of these sets I don't remember, guys, because um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a spoiler alert. This is going to be a learning video. I get a little bit blown back this week, and it's because of two things primarily. One, I did a horrible job of prepping. Well, I think I did a good job of prepping, but I got lazy. I was checking speeds of Pokemon, and Mega Diancy was the last one on the list. So I get down to the bottom of the list, and I've been bouncing back and forth between browser pages for 45 minutes looking at stats and all this kind of stuff. and. I just made the executive decision, oh, Mega Diancy doesn't look like it'd be any faster than 75, 80 at most. Yeah, that's a 110 base mine, so I did not prepare at all for something of that speed. I have mines that could have easily outsped and done some damage, but unfortunately I thought that it was much slower than it actually is. So we'll just get into the game, I'll talk a little bit more about it in that environment and hopefully give you guys a little bit of insight into <laughs> what it feels like to get dropped on your neck. So we're gonna go in right here and he's gonna lead off with Electros, which is fine, as I let off Swampert. Now I didn't know that this gets Giga Drain, but as you can see, I'm gonna set up the rocks here and he's gonna hit a disgusting critical hit Giga Drain that rips through my Rando Berry and leaves me at 29% health, which is really unfortunate. But what can you do? That's how it goes. It's the game of Pokemon. So I'm going to switch into my boy Snooty Boots here because uh, it's a great, great special defensive wall, especially against Grass type. And I'm going to just decide to go fire off the close combat. My moveset didn't really have anything better for the situation. And I did not anticipate him to have Flamethrower. The Electros has a much deeper move pool than I initially thought. That's another part of prep that I didn't do very well is look up about Electros. But I'm going to go ahead and hit close combat and get our, get our first kill of the game here. Put us up 6-5, which is about the last time you'll see us up. Because in comes Mega Diancy. And Swampert and Verizion were both my big answers to Mega Diancy. And now they are both underneath 30% health. So Diancy is just going to blow back my Verizion. I think I go right back into Swampert here, yeah, and hope that he decides to switch or whatever. I don't know. At this point, I think I was tilting pretty bad because I realized how fast this thing was. I looked it up. I don't think, I didn't think that I had anything that could do any sort of damage whatsoever. And as you can see, I really can. It's pretty much one-shotting everything I put in before I even get the chance to attack. I did have Ice Shard there, but the damage was, like, you know, not really worth in my opinion. I was hoping for a Diamond Storm miss and then maybe a nice hit, but no, unfortunately, he's just going to keep raining down these Diamond Storms and taking out all my Pokemon. As you can see here, my Arcanine is going to live this Diamond Storm, which is amazing. I absolutely love Arcanine. But the Flare Blitz just is not going to do much in return, especially since this Mega Diancy is already a plus two defense. So there's, there's really not a whole lot we can do about that. We're going to live another turn, but it's going to go ahead and fire off the Earth Power and put us down in the dirt. So now we have Zygarde, and this was soul crushing. Because after I see how this turn goes, I'm going to try and set the Dragon Dance just on the off chance that this Moon Blast doesn't kill me. And it doesn't. I lived on 4% and get the dragon dance up. So had I gone straight into this after my Verizion went down, there's a chance I could have brought this back and, and played a good game. I couldn't get my sub up and I think he would have made the same play and gone into ditto here, leaving me pretty much useless to be honest. But I could have still had Mega Glalie with the Ice Shard, Extreme Speed on Arcanine, I think I'd have been able to take some hits with Swamper and fire off some attacks back in its direction, but essentially I got behind and tilted really bad, which is very unfortunate because I felt like I had a good matchup in this game. We do get to play again, which is the great part. Uh, this isn't our last match against each other, and I'm very excited to play him again. He's a great team builder. I am, however, very excited that he got his first win. He is 
far and large one of the nicest people I've come in contact with on my time doing Pokemon competitively, which obviously isn't very long, but I still want to make it known that he is definitely one of the absolute nicest people, and he's always in such a great mood, has great team building, has good play, and it was just kind of bumming me out that he hadn't got a win yet, so <laughs> even though it's against me, I am really happy that he managed to scoop his first win, and hopefully it's not the last one, just hopefully it's the last one against me. Y'all have a good day. Like, subscribe, comment if you if you fuck with what I'm doing. And if not, it's whatever. I'm going to keep doing it regardless. So y'all have a good one.